Bloodstone Fen rests in the heart of Maguma, and within it sits its namesake, one of the five Bloodstones. It has been home to many exiled white metal traders with the desire to unlock and use the power of the stone for their eventual rise and return to Krytop. In the aftermath of the crystal destruction, the land is in disarray, fragmented and partially floating in the wake of the wild well of unstable magical energy unwittingly unleashed. The Ring of Fire is a set of islands in an area where earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are commonplace. Ember Bay resides here, its dark and jagged landscape shaped by lava solidifying into monstrous skulls and other shapes due to malevolent energy seeping through a tear in reality between our world and that of the Realm of Torment. Once that dimensional door was guarded by the Mursat, but now only their jade constructs and fortress ruins remain. New threats have arisen from the fire in the form of destroyers. These minions of Primordus now stalk the land and threaten the already bedraggled and shipwrecked denizens of this desolate place. The Bitterfrost Frontier is a frozen, windswept valley with a strong contingent of ice-brewed minions of the elder dragon Jormag. Its followers, the Sons of Svanir, also reside here to sculpt ice effigies in Jormag's honor. These dual frosty foes are barely held back each night by the Coden, Quaggins, and Grawl that endeavor to call this frigid place home. Defend the lighted braziers as if your life and the lives of those around you depends upon it, because it does and they do. East of Divinity's Reach lies Lake Doric, a dammed off section of the once great lake, the Giant's Basin. The docks here were used for many years by the Seraph as a major supply line into the Harathi hinterlands for the war effort against the Centaurs. However, the lake you will find here this day has all but been drained dry by the bloodstone craze actions of the White Mantle, who in their treasonous assault on the heart of Krita destroyed a large part of the damn wall. Here you will join with your majesty's loyal sworn seraph and the Shining Blade to quell this riotous uprising of deranged lunatics. Draconis Mons is a hollowed out volcanic island on the northwestern edge of the Ring of Fire Islands. The mountain lay submerged beneath the waves until the Elder Dragon of Fire and Conflagration, Primordus, tunneled underneath its molten core. Once a druidic nature preserve, this place also, for a time, served as a refuge for Asurans forced out of Rodanopus by the Jack, until the druids killed them all, that is. Now the Inquest have rebuilt this Rada Arcanum for their own purposes. Beware the creatures here, the lava, the white mantle, and even the waters below, as it seems Primordus rising has made the sulfuric waters boil with a curious intensity. After the fall of the Elder Dragon Zaitan, many Silvari have worked to recover and restore the continent of War in honor of Traherne and have even found assistance from the ghosts of Orion royalty and their servants, who also want Or to thrive once more. Siren's Landing sits upon the eastern shore, once called the Bay of Sirens, and here you will battle the unchained Risen who still remain, and the mercenary army brought here by the bombastic fallen god of war himself, Balthazar.